So believe it or not, there are still a lot of people that don't know how to edit their very own videos or montages. But no worries, if you are here and you don't know how to edit, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be teaching you how you can edit your very own Fortnite montages for 100% free for absolute beginners. I'm going to be using the software DaVinci Resolve. It's 100% free, so there's actually no risk in following along with this tutorial. But if you guys do enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing you're going to do, just check out the DaVinci Resolve download that I have at the very top of the description. So that's going to be right here. You can just press free download. And then once you actually have it downloaded, you can open it up. And we're just going to go to new project and name it literally whatever, like Fortnite montage, for example. We're going to go to create. So we're going to go to the edit tab right now. And then to actually start off, we're going to go up here to file project settings, change our timeline frame rate to 60 while making sure that timeline resolutions on 1920 by 1080. And quickly, before I get into the tutorial, I want to quickly mention my brand new 2024 ultimate editing pack that I literally just released. And this pack includes absolutely everything you could possibly need for anything involving editing content, etc. I have over a hundred different Fortnite presets as well as stuff for your content. Check talking YouTube automation library, video and audio memes, practice clips for Fortnite, practice footage for editing your own videos, literally anything you could ever imagine. I don't have the link to actually go check it out down below. So make sure to go check it out. It literally costs less than a McDonald's meal. And you're going to be able to make so much money from these different presets to actually edit your own stuff or edit client stuff. But I don't want to take up any more time. So go check it out using the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment. Let's get right back to the video. Now DaVinci Resolve by default normally looks a little something like this. If you don't have the media pool enabled, you have to click up here you don't have the effects library enabled you got to click right here so just make sure that you have those two enabled because those are the two most important uh features of the actual edit tab itself which is what we're going to be doing a lot of the work in when it comes to beginner editing um but then once you get into advanced stuff you do a lot of stuff with the fusion tab stuff like that i'll touch briefly upon that um when we actually use some of the free presets that i showcased in the video so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to drag in any sort of song that we're going to be using for this so, so i'm going to drag in like a 637 godwin song you guys know i love using 637 godwin because he is copyright free it's the best so for people like me there's no chance of getting copyrighted so we're going to toss headphones on because it's time to lock in but this is actually what we're going to do now so the first step of this process is going to be syncing and this involves adding markers on our beats where we're going to be syncing our kills up to pretty simple let me just show you how to do that so we can see in davinci resolve we can actually see the waveforms on the audio layer itself which is super useful so we can see that these peaks are all beat drops so we're going to come through to the first beat drop which is obviously going to be the main beat drop of the song and we're going to press m on our keyboard and bang one two three four five six bang one two three four five six and bang you know what i mean it's like once you get a hang of the syncing it just makes a lot of sense in terms of where the kill should be you just kind of get a get an understanding of the song itself kind of feel it out and from there it comes pretty easy so this is is kind of what it looks like in terms of adding markers this is just a shortened section you don't have to worry about cutting it down in the actual project i just cut it down to show you guys a more simplified view of the song itself but once we have our markers laid out this is exactly what it will look like so the next thing to do is actually go and navigate on over to wherever we have our clips downloaded to so for example i'm just going to navigate over to where i have these brand new clips that are actually inside of my edit pack that i just mentioned so for example, we're going to add a couple of these 200 oh, clips. Oh, no. You can see right here, we got like a little edit course, 200, out of a drop down 200, super clean. So the next part of the syncing process is actually coming through here and dragging it in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to navigate on over to wherever we find the kill. And the cool thing is about DaVinci is we can use our arrow keys to navigate through frame by frame. So we're going to find that first uh, actual frame of where we get the kill. So for example, it's right here. We're going to add that marker and we're going to line that up with the marker we added on our beat drop. So if we actually come through here now, we can see that it's synced really well. And we're going to come through and do that with the other couple clips. So you can see 200 right here. Just going to drag that in, find the actual kill itself, add our marker to this, line it up with the kill itself. And that's pretty much that in terms of sync. I'm only going to use two beats, for example, for this video, because, uh, yeah, we don't need to go through four so basically this is that and we already have it synced up which is the number one 
thing that I see a lot of people struggle with, which is syncing in general. So if you made it past this part, you're already better than like literally 50% of editors. So you made it past that first cut. So next up, what we're going to do is we are going to do time remapping, AKA slow motion on the kills, nothing too advanced. Um, but the first thing you're going to do is you're going to right click on each clip that you have in the timeline, go to link clips, which will unlink the clips. So you can select the audio separately. So that means if we do anything to the video, it's not going to affect the speed of the audio because we don't want the audio slowing down when we put slow-mo on the kill. So come through and unlink each clip. Then what we're going to do is we are going to go and press B on our keyboard to switch to the blade tool and add a little slice to the, uh, where we have the marker, which is where the kill is. So from there, we're going to right click on it, go to change clip speed. We're going to change it to 60. 60 is like the golden number. I feel like, and then we're going to go here, right click again, go to change clip speed, change this one to 60. And the cool thing about DaVinci, we can see it gets framey because it is 60% speed. So we're going to change this to optical flow and it becomes actually smooth, which is like really cool. So we're going to do that. So it does like frame blending to make it look actually smooth. So that's basically that. All you got to do from there is add our effects. So for our effects, we're going to come over here to adjustment clip. We're going to slice it just so the uh, adjustment clip spans the duration from the kill to the end of the clip. We're gonna go into the fusion tab, go to where we have the free presets saved from the description. And then you're gonna add something like the pink uh, impact, for example, you're gonna disconnect the lines and connect it just like I did. And we can see that we have the impact, but it's not keyframe properly. So we're gonna open our keyframe menu here in the top right, you'll have it here. Press this little line thing, and we're actually going to drag everything over. Then we're gonna expand these menus, and we can see that these keyframes need to be within here. So we're gonna drag and select them, bring them over drag select bring it over press the arrow thing we're gonna need to line these keyframes up at the beginning line these up with the beginning line this up with the beginning so we can see that we have a white hash on the first frame of this adjustment clip so we can see that just like that after adjusting the keyframes it's made the actual impact look great so that's how you do that and then all you got to do is literally copy paste drag it onto that second clip there you go, dude. You all, like literally have part of a Fortnite montage and all that's left to do is drag on like a cross dissolve transition between these clips and that's literally your montage itself. So that's actually how you can do that. This is kind of like a beginner process. You'd go here to the deliver tab and you render out whatever you have. But if you guys want access to my presets, I have a super in-depth, I have like literally 50 DaVinci presets as well as transitions, overlays, like all that stuff, sound effects, all of my editing pack, like I mentioned before, go check that out that's going to be for 2024. I'm going to be consistently updating it as well as adding weekly tutorials that are exclusive to the pack itself, not going on YouTube. Um, so yeah, make sure you go check that out. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate everybody that watched. Three presets are going to be down below. I know that was a lot to take in, but I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.